Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to talk to us a little bit about staying on the wall. Um, staying on the wall, staying focused, and avoiding distractions. Amen. And so I'm reminded of Nehemiah um, chapter 6. Nehemiah was sent to um, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And he had all kinds of distractions and temptations coming his way. Um, Sam Ballard and his crew were sending messengers, you know, trying to get him to come down because ultimately they wanted to kill Nehemiah. But they were trying to get him to come down and try and distract him from the mission that he was set out to do. Amen. And had he given in to those distractions and those temptations, he would not have been able to accomplish um, the mission or the very thing that God had called him to do. Amen. And so listen, um, in the midst of all that, you know, he said something very powerful in um, Nehemiah 6 and 3. What he said was, is I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. Amen. And so we know that, you know, life has a plethora of distractions that's thrown at us each and every day at, at every angle, right? And those distractions can come in the form of a noun, as my husband would say, um, a person, a place, or a thing, right? And so when that happens, when you're walking on this journey that, you know, God has called you on, you're fulfilling the purpose, um, you are um, into the assignment that God has given you, and, you know, these distractions come, right? So what do you do? Do you give in to those distractions or do you stay focused of, to the calling and the purpose um, of, of your life? Amen. And so, you know, we all know that some of those distractions that come, it could be some things that we really need to get rid of anyway altogether. Amen. Whether it be a habit or some relationships or, or whatever it may be. So the key thing is staying on the wall. The key thing is staying focused and not giving in to those distractions, right? So so we can take a page out of Nehemiah's book, use some of that resolve that Nehemiah used and not give in to the temptation, not give in to the distractions, right? And continue to stay focused on what it is that God had called us to do, amen? And so whatever wall God has called you to build, um, we should do that with all of our heart, all of our mind and all of our soul. Amen. We should give give it our all and not let those distractions keep us from the very best thing that God has in store for us. Amen. And so Hebrews 12 and 1, it says, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race that has been marked out for us. Amen. And so, you know, sometimes that distractions or those distractions come from People criticizing, you know, and those are always the ones, you know, the people that are doing the least are always the ones that has the most criticizing, has the most negativity to say. Amen. And so, you know, we have to know that we are not accountable to those critics, to our critics, but who we are accountable to is God, the one and only true living God, and which is the one that has called us, that has predestined us, that has ordained us. Amen. That is his word. Amen. So that's who we're accountable to. So. Um, you know, um, First Thessalonians 5 and 24, um, it says, faithful is he who calls you and he also will bring it to pass. So whatever he has called you to, whatever wall he has called you to build, he will equip you um, with, with the wherewithal that you need to build that wall and he will bring it to pass. Amen. So stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. God is our defender. Focus on the things that he has called us to do, the things that are of him, and keep building. Keep building our marriages. Keep building our relationships with our children. Keep building our communities. Keep building one another up. Amen. And then also help keep building the body of Christ. Help keep building God's kingdom. Amen. By spreading the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so listen. Whenever a distraction comes, they try to get you to come down off the wall. Whenever temptation comes, they try to get you to come down off the wall. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself. The Bible tells us that we have to speak a word. We have to encourage ourselves. So be like Nehemiah that he said in 6 and 3. It say, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. So until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional. Love on purpose. Blessings. Blessings.